we have a problem. It's not ideal. It cost eight and a half thousand pounds to do it. So we're doing two repairs today. I fixed that. The next repair is we're gonna take this wall down. The idea is to take this wall down here. I'll show you what it is. Hopefully the audio was better than last time. Take it down there, you see I've cut it and it's gone to there. It's had to be like that for X amount of reasons. And obviously we want this place to be not airtight, but like animal tight. Bird could come and tear, that's what we don't want. We're gonna knock this down, brick that up to there so it is bird tight. This IBC wants to go up there, away, tidy. The smart heat which is there is gonna grab that and we're gonna put under there. And then we just we just really need to neat this place up, that's what I want, that's what, and then we're gonna work on that. That's a project on its own. Luke, however, is working on this, put plenty on. He's working on fiberglass. So you'll see our problem. Here, 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 down there, just, let you listen to this. Um, I'll let you be the judge of that one. Then we've got this down here. Um, I spoke to the company it was for, it actually started 11 days after we put the parlor in. Um, I have a warranty on this fiberglass. It cost eight and a half thousand pounds to do it. I know, because everyone was telling me it's the best thing since sliced bread. Do it, don't miss it out. Um, you'll see here, here, it's blown there, there, there. Uh, don't judge the dirty walls. Blown there, there. And you'll say, oh, well, it's a dirty wall. That's not dirty over there. All there, down here, down here. Hey, I'm not gonna say which company it is because I don't want to slate the company. I'm just saying, look into who does it. And it's, it, it, unfortunately, it's the air pockets. So it wanted to be nice and smooth. You wanted to see the brickwork and you don't. So a cow pushes against there, the air pockets. Obviously I've spoken to them 11 days after we were in the parlor. They fixed it once, spoke to them again, and the, the repair that they have come up with, after spending eight and a half thousand pounds, may I add, is put these on. So Luke is gonna do this. We're gonna leave Luke to on the first one. We'll get to him later on. He cleaned it as much as he can because we don't want any dirt on there. Um, that's pretty good. Luke was saying before, the best one is this rendered wall that the lads did. Maybe we should have rendered it all. It's just how it's been cheap and it was no cost. But the only problem with the rendered wall, it's only as strong as the render is on the brick, if that makes sense. But yeah, so I am on this job. And you know what they say? Not working. Yeah. Working. Say. What? Never did out. A soft hammer, please. Do not smack it. Do not break anymore. Luke's taking a hammer over there. I've got my safety goggles on. I have gloves on as well. My job is gonna be knocking bricks down. That's what I do to check the audio. One down. Many, many to go. days. Leave them after that. Good job. How's Luke got on? Oh, he's got some more seal on than that one. He's got the glue on that we can just take off later. Make it look tidy. It's a freaking 80 looking mess. Just an, I don't know why it annoys me. I need to get over myself. But yeah, he's done two there, which is good. He said he's going to do this one when uh, we wash the parlor again. We can just get it blitzed. And same with this as well. We'll wash the parlor probably. Could be this week to be fair. 
and then there that corner's been done as well just protects it done fingers crossed it lasts a lot longer Whew, bit sweaty bit of hard work not mind a bit of hard work when you can see it going somewhere happy martin yeah sound so we have a problem the end of that pipe fell out didn't it <laughs> i don't know I'm, I'm not as agile as i was if you didn't know right at the end there's no end yeah you have to get it you know i might be able to put them ladders and just it's, 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 yeah. it's getting in fine i'm getting out it's a problem I'm in. It's not ideal. I've never been in this one. It's different. Let's get out of the blue one. What? Found it. Go on! Go on! Go on, big lad! <laughs> there you go! Mother. Look at that. It's like a proper meeting. Are you enjoying yourself here? Yeah, we like knocking walls down. We say I'm gonna wash it now. The next job, IBC up there, rep marks uh, popped in, so obviously we're gonna get him to actually do some work. You know what these reps are like. Three, two, one. How heavy is this? Yeah. 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 You couldn't do this with a smart car. And I, even when I was saying that, you can, because I did do it about four years ago. Someone would have seen it. Saw this on a uh, an Instagram post or like a Facebook post or something. Apparently goats love Christmas trees. Oh God, I'll get it in my eye. And Christmas trees are surprisingly, he says, uh, surprisingly light. Right into it. Look at that, the will be. Oh, oh, it's going. Oh. <laughs> there we go, they love the Christmas tree. Right little treat for him. They've just got the winter coats on, haven't they? Look a bit shabby at the moment. They're getting loads of food. They get fed everything. It's just been wet, hasn't it? Anywho, right. They've been better now, like drain's working. Because if you're right to there, you know that one Yeah, me and Dad did the drain in the middle of the yard. Pemberton's Pond, it was called. You might just be holding the foot on my floor for you. Oh, you are. Let's look at that. Tom is a happy man today. Gonna have to turn that radio off. Because Kenneth from Pennine Berry Supplies, Farm doing? Services, is back, yeah what baby. You know? He's back for two reasons. He's a legend. Blasty. Sorry, no radio, copyright scribe. Blame YouTube. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. We've done all this in the corner, we've put that to there, we've done that, we've done this. Kenneth is back with the Superman that is Ian. And we have Smart Heat, not this one, a different one. Smart heat is going to go in that corner is the plan. And I'll show you why we first need to get it, don't we? It's going to be so much fun. This thing is going to save me thousands of pounds. Thousands. And that is not an exaggeration. So this used to be the old one. So this loop was what we got done on Red Tractor, wasn't it? Top of it was big. Yeah, so it's gone knackered now because it's outside. So there's a rust. So Red Tractor put a non-conformance down as rust and it wasn't even that bad it wasn't that bad was it no so not that but not that in between those two and it was a non-conformance because there was rust in that mental how's that affecting the quality of my milk anywho anywho we're not going on ramp with that but this is good news Say, this is going to save me thousands and thousands of pounds. And we'll be able to see it on the solar usage. It's going to be very exciting. We've got some insulation as well. Look at that, no expense spared here. And we need some more chemical for the pond. I'll talk to Ian in a bit about how it works. I've just got a meeting at two o'clock and it's half two now. So yeah, and I've got some farm's garden room in our hand to have a chat. So I'll try and catch you with you guys later. Ian's got some fun for me. I just said he's going to lag it and he's lagged it. There we go. So we're nearly, nearly there. And I think we've made a video of this, obviously knocking walls down, putting that up. And we actually need to know 
why we're doing it and how it's important, how it's going to save me. So they're going to Markham, you'd be able to go to Barbados. Or Barbados. Or I'll end up buying a silage pusher for cows. <laughs> how does it work and how is it going to save funds? It works similar to a central heating system or a hot water system. It's got, a, it's got two coils inside there, copper coils. Yeah. So the warm gas coming out of the compressor. Because the compressors are heat are making cool. So the, you make cool, you've got to make heat, haven't you? You know. So the suction line it comes in cool, yeah, because it's a gas, and then as soon as it comes out of the compressor, it starts re liquidizing and going into superheat. So that heat that's generated in your radiator normally, yeah. your condenser, will go through the copper coils in there and keep the water up yep. in there instead. It'll make your compressors work better because the be, the gas temperatures will be a lot lower. It's taking the heat out of there. The system, so yeah. On warm days it'll work better. It's all a plus. That water in there is going to get heated up for free, pretty much. Obviously it's yeah, cost yeah, money yeah, for you yeah. to do it. It's getting yeah. for free because the heat off there. And then that warm water, which is going to be anywhere from 30 to 40 degrees, you think? Yeah, 40 to 60, depending 40 on... 40 to yeah. 60! It's going to go down here. And then we talked about lagging before. This is what Ian was doing. Lag this pipe, that pipe. This is, we did this all before. We're just putting that into its own room. It's now going to go into there. And then that water from 40 to 60 degrees is going to go into our hot water tank. And why that is so good is because to heat water from 5 to 10 degrees, that's right Ian, yeah. is very expensive isn't it? The most expensive time to heat water is from 5 to 30. So if you can put water in at 30 degrees, if you put it 40, 60, it's a lot cheaper, it's kind of get going. That's why when you get a kettle from cold, it's really, really expensive. And it'd be really interesting how much money it saves me on the app because I can watch it on the solar panel. You guys have worked very, very well and fingers crossed it all works like it should do. If you've got any questions down below, put it in. A lot of farmers do this and we just didn't do it because we're in such a rush at the time. I do have a spare smart heat. If I can use that for something else, I don't know. Um, but I'll let you know. Right, so see how Katie's getting on. She's on a mad washing sesh. So it got fit in. Hopefully that explained it quite well. Pretty much the heat from the compressor is going to warm the water in the smart heat and that water is going to go into our boiler and then our boiler only has to work from 40 to 60 degrees instead of from 5 degrees when it was really really cold coming out of the ground. So what I did work out is how much energy we used in January compared to February. So in January we used 21.35 megawatts at 31 days is 0.688 kilowatts. February was 19 megawatts over 29 days this year, was 0.655, so it's a saving of 33 kilowatts a day, which is £10.23, which is over the month of February, £290, and over the year at 365, I worked it out around £3,700 on saving and just doing that. So we knocked a wall down, we rebuilt it, and it saved us a fortune. It, those numbers could be a bit skewed. If obviously, if February shows a little bit more sun, which was the wettest February ever, by the way. So it might not be, but let's say that it saves us £2,000 a year. It was definitely worth doing it, and it covered the cost of the guys coming in. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a bit of an odd one today. I had a bit of footage, but I want to finish it doing something we're going to do this week. And obviously, we've done loads of... Bit. I'm just getting ready for going outside. The weather's just been horrible again and we can't travel. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to YouTube channel. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Put it down in the comment section. That would be amazing. Love you all and we'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye.